Sorry, I, I just had uh, an issue with the Wi-Fi, that's all. All right, how was everyone's weekend? Uh, too short. Yeah, that's how I feel as well. <laughs> Wait a couple more minutes and then we'll start. Um, but I can show you what we're going to be doing today. Let me uh, share with you guys. All right, here we go. So <clears throat> Today, we're going to be doing three sets um, of uh, 20 pike shoulder taps. Um, and then we'll go into 15 V ups, 10 look bridge workouts, and then two, two up, one down. So, before we do every each exercise, I'll show you um, how to do it, and then we'll go right into it. But these sets right here, the three sets, um, we're actually going to be doing it um, as part of a warm up. So we'll do like a mini warm up and it will go right into the three sets of these four exercises. So this is gonna be like part of a warm up. And then we'll go into the second workout, which would be somewhat of our main workout of the day. So it'll be four sets of uh, 45 seconds of the following exercises, um, Bulgarian split squats, lateral jumps, dips, and Russian twists. Um, so <clears throat> one thing that we're gonna do today make this interesting is we're we're all gonna use a, a round ball so do you guys have a ball so like a, a soccer ball volleyball basketball we're anything like that yeah what was it i didn't hear it i feel like to see that she has a ball Monica has the ball. And it looks like JT has a ball as well. I saw a thumb, thumbs up. How big do we need to have the ball be? Uh, just the size, like a volleyball size or a soccer ball size. That's about size. But I think, I guess, I think Natalie, Natalie has the ball as well. Yep. Okay, good. All right, we'll get right into it. You guys ready? Yep. Got to start Monday strong here. All right, we'll just start with a, a little bit of warm up before we start those three sets. So, the first thing that we're going to do is just a trunk twist. We're going to do about uh, 10 reps of the trunk twist. So, pretty much what we're doing is just standing up and just going back and forth. So 10 of them, all right, just 10 of them. We're going to do a little bit of uh, circles um, with our shoulders. 
So that's going to go one way 10 times. And then once you're done 10, you're going to go the other way 10 times. Whenever you're ready, you can go at your own pace. Once you dive 10, you just do reverse. All right, next thing we're going to do is uh, just uh, Pull your knee towards your chest and then switch. We're gonna do like 10 times as well. So 10 total, so five on each leg. Now we're gonna work a little bit of jumping here. So we're gonna do tuck jumps. So tuck jumps is pretty much you're bringing your knees up and you, as you're jumping. So from here, it's gonna look something like this. All right, so you just bring your knees up a little bit as you're jumping. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So you're gonna go at your own pace as well. So we have at your own pace, 10 times. And whenever you're ready, all right, ready, and go. All right, so like I told you, we're going to do those three sets as part of the warm up. So we're going to do shoulder taps. So if, with the shoulder taps, what you want to do is you want to get yourself into a downward dog position. Kind of that position right here, and then from here, all I do is shoulder, shoulder tap with my right hand. I'll touch my left shoulder, go back down, and I switch left hand to right, right hand to left shoulder, and it just go back and forth. We do 20 of those. All right, so we're going to get ourselves into that. Downward up position, so that would be the pike position. And then from there, just doing shoulder taps. Just work a little bit on our shoulders, especially for pretty much all of you in this uh, zoo, uh, WebEx today. So some of you are playing lacrosse, right? Natalie, you're lacrosse, right? So you use your shoulders a lot. Uh, JT, volleyball, shoulders, and obviously basketball as well, shoulders. We're gonna work a little bit on those shoulders today, all right? So 20 of them. And then from there, we're going to the VS. So once we're doing 20 shoulder attacks, we'll take a quick break. I'll show you how to do VS, and then we'll do VS. All right? Hello. All right. So whenever you're ready, we're going to get into a shoulder attack. Five shoulder attacks in five, four, three, two, one, and go. All right, now we're gonna go into our V-ups. So let me show you with the V-ups, what we wanna do is laying down right here. And then you just wanna pretty much write V with your body, all right? So I'm gonna have my arms behind me, like, and then my legs stretched out, and I bring all my limbs to the middle. And I go back out. So I'm trying to write a V, 
and I go back out. So when you're doing this one, just make sure you're tucking your abs as you're doing it. So it's all about using the abs. But then second thing that you want to do is make sure you bring your legs up. So we don't want to do something like this where I'm bringing my, my arms toward my legs. I want to make sure that I bring my legs up as well. So make sure you're tucking your abs and bring your legs to the middle as well. So if you only bring your arms up, you're kind of doing sit-ups. We want to do VI. So that's the main difference, all right? We're going to do 15 of those. Go at a very steady pace, all right? So we don't want to rush through it. We want to feel it in our um, abs, all right? Get your hamstring. Um, so, as a, a lot of us as student athletes, we struggle a little bit with uh, strengthening our hamstrings before the season. So, this actually works a little more on targeting your hamstrings. All right. And we're doing 10 of these. Get yourself into that glute bridge position to start. All right. And ready? In five, four, three, Two, one, and you walk out. Take four steps out. Fix your hips, and then go go back in. Every time you're done, make sure you bring your hips back up before you restart. And also try to switch the food that you're starting with, just to challenge your brain a little bit, to think about what you're doing. So instead of starting with your left foot, start with your right foot. I have two more to do. And here, right here. All right, last one in this set, and then we'll do two more sets of these. All right. So this one is called two up, one down. What we want to do is all about 
or looking at my feet right here, you want to come up on your toes. So both feet, so that's two, one foot out, and I'm going slow, it's a little bit challenging. So two up, one foot out, and down. So if I do a little quickly, so I look like this, two up, one out, one down. And then you switch from it. So you go up two, one foot up, and then you go down. One foot up, go down. So as you're doing it, lean toward your big toes. So if you look at my feet right here, my ankles, right here, try to not lean to the outside, but make sure you're leaning toward the big toes as you're doing it, all right? So that helps you to keep a little bit of a better balance if we have one foot up and you go down, all right? So we're gonna be doing 10 of those. So we'll do 10 on each side, guys. So 10 on each side. So this works a little bit on your balance. It works on ankle strengthening. Uh, and that's the stability right there. All right, ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go. At least we're doing 20, 20 total. Try to lean toward those big toes. That helps you to keep that better balance. Of course, we're going out. Pretty much, you're just training your body to strain your ankles or to twist your ankles because that's what you're pretty much doing at this point. So make sure your toes you need to lean to the inside. I'm halfway there. Two more. And done. The first set. So once again, it's actually part of a warm up. We haven't even started our men who work out the day yet. Well, this one makes it fun, right? We'll get a quick drink of water and we'll go right into that second set. That's a sneaky one there. I it was going to be easier trying to use a kettlebell for that. That was not, not, a, not an easy thing to kettlebell. Okay, two up, one down, the more reps you're putting in, you start feeling it right away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can feel it behind my knee. I was like, oh, my God, grab the kettlebell. Are you guys ready? I'm going to go into that second set. So starting with for high shoulder taps. We're going to get into that downward dog position. Get a nice, uh, nice pipe and feel like you're leaning a little bit too forward. And that helps you to put a little more weight on your shoulders as you're doing your shoulder taps. That way you can feel yourself strengthening those shoulders. And once you get that position, in five, four, three, two, one, and go. We're doing 20 shoulder taps total, all right? Go at a very steady pace. I'm about to rush in this one. And then we're going into our VIAs. So we're doing 15 VIAs. All right. So once again, make sure you bring everything in. Use those abs to bring all limbs toward the middle. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. We're doing 15 of them. All right. There you go. Make sure you're breathing. So as you're going back down, keep using those abs. Keep bringing those legs back down before you go back up. Make sure you're controlling every movement. 
Well, just drop, drop your legs. All right. More guys. And now from here, we're we'll do, doing the glute bridge workout. So we're gonna get ourselves into that glute bridge position, hips up, squeeze your glutes, and then we'll do four steps out, four steps back in. So as we're taking four steps out, four steps back in, what I told you last time. So if you start out with your left foot, do it about maybe five of those, and then the next one, go out with your right foot next. That's just how to uh, get your, your brain to be a little more engaged in this exercise. All right? Let's get ourselves into a good bridge position. Four, three, two, one, and go. Ten of these. Turn out and back in. Here's one rep. Okay. And bring your hips back up after each rep before you restart. Two up, one down. Two up, one down, we're doing 20 total. So 10 on each foot. Once again, make sure you are leaning toward the big toes. And if you can, instead of even just stopping on the ball of your feet when you come up, try to go up a little more on your toes, hit themselves. That will help you strengthen your toes as well. All right, ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go. I try to control every movement, control every movement. Just your, your hand or your arm moving. 
those swing will pour too much. Chair 
or a skull bat, something that you can put your foot on. I have a chair back here. Do you guys have something like that? My bad. I should have told you guys before we started. <laughs> Doing ordinary split squats, we're just holding the ball. All right, we get into a nice stance. Just hold the ball in front of you, going down, double strength in the quads right there, and back up. So, as you turn back up, make sure you use the leg that you're using to support yourself. It's kind of like pushing off uh, from the floor, push the floor away. You do that. So, we're going to do that for about 20 seconds, and after that, we'll switch foot. Put the other foot on the, on the chair or whatever you have, all in front of you, keep that good balance and push it forward away from you. All right? So that'll be the first one. What do is called the lateral jump. The lateral jump, you're going to have the ball on the floor. Lower it a little more. So probably just do lateral jumps um, and on the ball. So going from here, back and forth. Be doing that for 45 seconds. Doing a little jump. The next one that we're going to do is tricep dips with the box squeeze. You're going to be sitting in your chair, have the ball in between your knees. You're going to squeeze the ball. Dips. So I'm going to squeeze the ball as you can see. I'm doing dips with the tricep. For the entire time, I'm squeezing the ball. So I'm going to squeeze that ball. For the entire 45 seconds, all right? So that's going to help you to strengthen your groin muscles while you're working on your upper body with those tricep dips, all right? And last thing that we're going to do is just a plank twist. So obviously, if you want to do the level one, it will be to have your feet on the floor. Get on the floor, lean back a little bit, just go back and forth. When you engage your abs the entire time, so from shoulder to shoulder, the Russian twist. Level two, obviously, is have your feet up and do the same thing, going back and forth. Make sure you engage your abs for 45 minutes. You just involved the entire time. Any question before we start? That's good. I'm going to have a chair. What I'm going to do is the Bulgarian split squat. There's no, no one in here. Halfway there. <laughs> 
10 more seconds. <laughs> Definitely got me. <laughs> I felt this one for sure. crew call at 11 o'clock so finish strong we'll see you guys on wednesday have a good one jc you guys too bad i believe wednesday yeah, we, could we all say hi <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we can get him to start joining us here pretty soon but uh wednesday we're gonna plan on uh 10 o'clock in the morning as well okay for those of you guys on this call right now 10 o'clock on wednesday hopefully that works for you guys if not we're just gonna keep playing around with it um, but you will need a pair of dumbbells and um, there's something else I forgot, but um, I will put what you need in the meeting notes. Um, so when you go to the invite, you'll see uh, the, in the agenda what you need. Make sure to check that, okay? But you'll need a pair of dumbbells for sure. Yeah. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Keep it up. All right. DJT. Hey, Let's take up 30 seconds before we start. And actually, taking uh, the time here, I don't want to hold you guys too long. So instead of doing four sets today, we're going to do uh, three sets. All right, so we have two more sets to go before we go into uh, stretching. We're going to start with our Bulgarian split squats. I'm going to do this one from the side, in case you guys want to see what I look at from the side. So 
one thing I want to try to do. So usually, once again, like we all start with one uh, leg, and that's how we would like to do it. So this time I'm going to challenge you. So if you started with your left leg on top of the chair, this time you start with your right. So all that does is it just challenges your brain to be more engaged in what you're doing. So just go into the motion. All right. So if you start with the left leg on top of the chair, this time you start with your right. The halfway through will switch. All right. So for me, I'm actually lefty. So I started with my right leg on top of the chair. This time I'm going to I use it by starting my left leg on the chair. You guys ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go. I'm gonna be doing 20 seconds. One leg, push the floor away from you every time you go back down, and up, push the floor away from you. This time I'm my explosion a little more. 10 seconds to go. Because I switch my leg a little bit, I think I'm a little bit out of balance. That's my brain. Struggling a little bit to figure it out. But now I forget how to figure it out. Uh, we're gonna switch and go ahead and switch. And whenever you're ready, start. You got 20 seconds to go. Keep pushing the floor away from you. Explode up. 10 seconds. Go into a lateral jumps. Last time I went, I started a little too fast and I felt it like after 20 seconds. So, but after this time, we want to keep a good pace. This time going pretty fast. I'm going to go a little bit slower. I don't get burned out. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. That's working that landing as well. Make sure you, you land properly. You drop your hips a little bit when you land. We're halfway there. Finish from here. And time. Well done. Now this time we're doing press and dips. All squeeze. We're going to just squeeze the ball, make sure your knees, and doing press and dips for 25 seconds. In five. Four, three, two, one, and go. Work that way. It's pretty good. Half of it, half of it, guys. Two, one, and time. Good work. Last exercise in this uh, stance right here. Doing Russian twist. 25 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Always be strong in each set. Always be strong. That's how you have a good endurance during games. You know you can be strong. People usually start giving up 
like in the last few minutes, that's when you turn it on. You finish strong. Halfway there, halfway there. Keep going. And it's on. Good work. All right. Let's get a quick drink. We're going to restart in, a, in about two minutes. About one minute left to start. Your last set, and uh, I think after this last set, we're gonna have a like a fun little tiny, just a tiny challenge for you guys. Uh, it'll be like a thirty second challenge on each leg. So it's not gonna be too hard, uh, but I want to see what we can do with that little challenge. seconds before we start. Start with the Bulgarian leg squat. Bulgarian split squat is a good one when it comes to keeping your, your body balanced on one leg, but also working that explosion with that one leg. You know, just the, it's very rare in uh, yeah, for sports, that we jump both legs all the time. Usually, we're moving so quickly that we jump with just one leg. We gotta strengthen those, we gotta explode the next. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. But yeah, so once again, you're switching leg, the leg you're just starting with. Push up, push up. So as you're exploding up, you'll feel a little more in your glutes as well. Because everything that we do always starts within our hips because our core has to be engaged first. And right, switch leg. Here we go. And done. Now we're going into our lateral jumps. On a steady pace. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Up with it. Ten seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. You got this. Five seconds. Well done. And time. Now we're going to do a tricep next. Both squeeze. All 
In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Right here. Five seconds. And time. Ooh. All right, Russian twist. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Breathing as you're finishing strong here. Still. Stay focused. Just ten seconds. Very good. You got this. Five seconds. With me and time. Good work. Let's get a quick drink. Then we'll go into our fun challenge. Gonna do is gonna be hops. Um, so pretty much what we want to do is find a line on the floor, just like a small line on the floor right in front of you. All right, and just doing single leg hop, going across the line and then back across the line and back. All right. What it looks like is something like this. So I have my small line right in front of me right here. So what I'm doing is single leg hop. I start and I go back and forth. Across the line and back, all right? So when I go across the line, that's one. When I go behind the line, that's two. Back across the line, that's three, all right? So every time you hop, that's one. So what we want to do is see how many we can do in 30 seconds. Going back across the line, all right, in 30 seconds. Doesn't matter. Uh, I guess, I guess, let's start. Let's start with uh, uh, which food do you guys want to start with? Which food, left or right? Left. All right, we're going to start with our left foot. Just 30 seconds, all right? You guys ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go.
pecah. Seventy. Seventy. Sixty-five. Uh, Natalie got seventy-five. Sixty-five. Lexi, is that seventy-two? So Lexi got seventy-two. Uh, Natalie got sixty-five. Monica got uh seventy. Yeah. Damn it, Lexi. <laughs> so I got seventy-five. Well, well, that's because I've done this before, so I know how it feels. I think that's all a little bit ahead of you guys. But now that you know how it goes, I'm sure you guys are gonna catch up now. We're gonna switch to our right foot. So Lexi won that round. When it comes to two athletes, let's see who wins this round. We got right foot. Just keep in mind, you know, if you're hopping and at some point you didn't really make that hop. You should be your own referee and make sure you don't count down. All right. But if it's not a proper hop and you're just like hopping on the same, uh, the same place, don't count those ones. All right. All right. In five, four, three, two, one, and go. And time. So I got 75 again. All right, what you guys get? I got 70 again. 70, okay. I got one more at 73. 73. 70. Uh, so Lexi uh, got 73. Onika, you got 70. Yeah. And Natalie, you got some as well, right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, so this is actually something that they use also in PT, uh, physical therapy, to figure out how balanced your legs are. Um, so if you're within, I think, I think it's like within five to 10 reps in between both legs, that means you're well balanced. Um, so that's good for all of you. Um, uh, should, we do, should we do one more? Well, we're actually going laterally, so back and uh, going side to side. All right, the left foot, right foot. We kind of did that already, though. Well, we did it with both feet. This time it's going to be with one foot. <laughs> I like the way you think, Natalie. I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> it's my it's my job to make you guys do one more stuff, right? Thirty seconds. So we're gonna go back to our left foot, <clears throat> and you're not, now you're just going from side to side. All right. I know we're all gonna feel this one, but we gotta push through. This is how we get we get better. All right, ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Time. I got I got so many too. Seventy-five. I had seventy-five. Lexi got seventy. Natalie, you still get seventy-five as well. Yeah. All right. Oh, Lexi, somebody's catching up now. Can't be first anymore. <laughs> so let's see who's gonna finish this one. And uh, how about this one wins it all? So right here, <laughs> it is Onika coming from behind and she's gonna win off. <laughs> I'm gonna try and 
diferente ali. All right, Natalie, what'd you get? Uh, you're on mute. I had 79. 79? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> uh, 78. 82. Natalie got 70, 72? 82. Whoa. <laughs> 82. <laughs> uh, Annika, what'd you get? 78. 78. Wow, you guys all crushed me. I got 71. <laughs> you crushed me on the last one there. Whew. All right. Well, not only won it all, uh, so you get the, you know, you, you become pride for the day, all right? And then Lexi will just say that you're the, uh, what's the word, the hard worker here. Because you were like way up there every single time. <laughs> and then Annika, I will say that you're going to be the comeback kid for next time. <laughs> You know it, you know it. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go into our stretch. Uh, I won't take you guys, it won't take too long. We'll just do just a tiny bit and you guys can finish the stretch later on during the day. All right, so we'll just start with just a little bit here. All right, <clears throat> the first thing that we're just starting with, yeah, get a good angle. First thing that we're going to start is just going to be the child pose. So pretty much what you're doing is you're going to be putting your feet together, knees out, and then you're just leaning to the inside. This is still a stretch in between uh, in your groin. You're just relax. So that's a child pose. And then from there, what you want to do once you get into that position is move your arms. Forward. So keep moving your hands forward until you, you feel the stretch in the torso area, like on the side as well. So feet together, knees out wide, lower your hips as much as you can. And then from there, stretch your arms out with your hands. You can feel the stretch in your side as well. Once you get there, just relax. Right there, same thing that we're going to do in a child pose position. But this time, we're going to thread the needle. So what I mean by that is you're in a child pose position, left arm out wide. But at this time, your right arm is going to go below the left arm tip. You're going to thread the needle so you can feel the stretch a little more on the right side of your body. So relax right there. We're going to do the same thing, but this time, uh, right arm stretched out forward in front of you, and then left arm is going to thread the needle under your right arm tip. You can feel the stretch in the left side of your body. So you can breathe out between the thread needle, so you can turn your back a little more. You can feet together, knees out wide. So this time, we're going to get into a plank position. And from the 
plank position. Move your right, uh, right foot right next to your right hand. And you kind of feel the nice stretch in your hamstring. You can lean forward a little bit, lower your hips a little more. You will feel the stretch a little more in your hamstring. Just hold it there for a little bit before we start the next thing. If you're not feeling it, you can actually put your elbows down as well on the ground. You can feel the stretch right there. But as of right now, I'm not at the next ball, so I can't put my elbows down at the moment. All right, from here, what you want to do is lean back. You can uh, stretch your right leg and then go back forward. You're just going back and forth, feeling this stretch in your hamstring. So you can actually go pull all the, the entire pool. And just motion. When I'm going forward, I'm going all the way forward. But when I go back, I go all the way back. All that's good when I, I sit down a little bit, feel the stretch in my right hamstrings, where I lean back forward. I'm just doing it back and forth. The dynamic stretch for the hamstring. I'm going to do it facing you guys as well so you can see it. The front. All right, so this time we're going to have to do a vision pause. So just having the right leg. Turn under you. And you can actually even put your hands in front of you, make a pillow with your arms. Then put your head down. As we're doing that, just feel the stretch a little more in your glutes area. You want to relax everything as you're doing that. We'll do it. Going back to having our right leg. So, this position right here, and we launch, kneeling launch position here. All right. And this time, you're just going to reach to the back, grab your left ankle with your left arm, and bring your left ankle towards you until you feel the stretch in your quad. Uh, back to a plank position. Now we're just going to do the other side. In your plank position, then from there, move your left foot or your left hand. Then right there, start feeling the stretch in your hamstrings. Lower your hips as much as you can by leaning a little bit more forward. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Just hold it there. Once again, if you're not feeling it at this position. You can actually even lean down and put your elbow, your elbows on the floor. Very good. This is where we start moving back and forth with that dynamic hamstring stretch. So straighten your left leg. Lean all the way back into that forward motion. Then lean back forward. You can feel that stretch in your hamstring. Very good. Before we actually go into the vision pause, we'll just uh, actually do a quad stretch in this, in this position. So this is where you reach back with your right hand, hold on to your right ankle, bring your right ankle toward you, you can feel the stretch in your quad.
Very nice. Now we're going to our big boss. Left leg. Here, under you. Do the stretch in your glutes. And you can lean forward, put your arms down and make a pillow. Put your arm, uh, your hands. And then you just put your hand on top of your, your hand. Relax everything. Stretching is all about relaxing your muscles. Make sure you're breathing. As you feel your muscles uh, opening up a little bit, as you try to relax a little more. Time for what we're gonna do. You're gonna lay on your back. Right here. Have your left leg on the floor. So bend your uh, right knee. Put your hands behind your right knee. Alright? And now from there, bring your right knee toward your shoulder. Your right knee to your right shoulder. Do the stretch right there. Now what you want to do is kick up. So kick your right foot up. Hold it for one second. Relax. Kick up again. Back down and relax. Kick up again. All right. We're going to do that 20 times. So go at your own pace for 20 times. So this one helps you stretch your hamstring a little bit more. So make sure you always have your right knee on your right shoulder before you start. Once you're going 20, the switch side. This time, make sure your right leg is on the floor the entire time. Now put your hands behind your left knee, your left knee toward your left shoulder. And right there, start kicking up. Hold it up for one second. Go back down. Let's do it 20 times. This time you're kicking up. So you kick up a little bit harder. Your right leg is on the floor the entire time. Don't take your right leg up. Don't bend your right knee at all. All right, guys, we're going to cut our uh, stretching a little bit short today since uh, we've been going at, it, at this for a little over an hour already. Um, so I'm sure you're busy with your schoolwork um, and everything else. One thing just keep in mind um, is these stretches are not enough. Make sure you continue to stretch throughout the day whenever you get a chance um, and also stretch tomorrow as well. All right, because you feel most uh, soreness in the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, so make sure you continue to stretch throughout the day and tomorrow, okay? And drink a lot of water. I feel like I lost a lot of water today um, jumping around. <laughs> so let's make sure that we work on uh, getting enough uh, drink of water or if you have any Gatorade, anything like that, all right? Do you guys have any questions before uh, we uh, end today? Nope, thank you. All right, no problem. Bye. Well, thank you so much for joining. Um, I uh, once again, I love the fact that we get to this. Uh, it's nice to uh, get to know you guys like this, um, and it's actually fun to get to know you know Natalie and some of the new community recruits that we have. I mean, planning on uh, joining Edgewood this coming year. It's fun to get to know you guys before you join, so that you know when I see you in the fall, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's Natalie right there. Let's go. <laughs> so, so yeah, I've been enjoying uh, the way we're doing this and. Uh, I'll just keep encouraging you guys to uh, continue to join us uh, as much as you can. 
we can all get get better uh, going into this coming school year. Uh, it's all about you know going into it prepared. All right. Other than that, you guys have a nice day. Um, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, so JT will be leading on Wednesday. It will be at 10 a.m. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. All right.